so there has been a lot of talk about self-care with uh, with a lot of the stresses that are going on in the world and um, the increased awareness of mental health and mental health concerns. I think we're hearing a lot about the need to take care of ourselves. Um, and sometimes that can look like relaxation, that can look like recreation, but it's important that as we think of ourselves, we don't, we don't just consider um, temporary fixes to reduce stress, but how we're living our lives generally. What are the patterns, what are the rhythms that keep us healthy? Um, things that keep us healthy physically, things that keep us healthy emotionally and relationally and spiritually, um, and things that we can sustain over time. So it may be okay to take a, a weekend away as a way of reducing stress acutely, but over the long term, building healthy habits like regular exercise, like um, regular eating patterns, um, not engaging in uh, harmful substance use, having meaningful relationships, engagement in community and, and positive activities that are helpful to others have been shown to increase our capacity to uh, manage our own emotions and stress. They also give us a, a purpose or a sense of purpose and well-being that um, helps to sustain us through difficult times. So building those things in before things get difficult can often sustain us through the tougher times.